Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark again, that's for art, and it is Thursday night, and I can't believe it's Thursday night, the last time I read was last Thursday, I apologize for that, but wow, has it been a busy week, I've had work, I finished up summer school, we went on a camping trip to Crater Lake, it's been super busy, <laughs> I started the radio show again, it was the second week, thank you for your support and your kind words, and for your suggestions and uh, I'll be on the radio tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the morning 8 to 9 and Friday's going to be our call in day so if you do want to call in talk about social engineering or discuss like the crimes of I think it's the entire energy cartel if we look at what happened in uh, Colorado so anyways I do want to finish this this is the uh, conclusion uh, Dr. Wein Alvin M. Weinberg's The Safety of Nuclear Power, the man who used the phrase who said, uh, in perpetuity, we're going to have to look at this stuff forever. But he, uh, ironically, he said, uh, much less than is required for disposal in above ground faults. faults. Well, the, isn't that what we have now? I think so. I think that's what the NRC said, just so you can just leave it above ground. So. Pretty soon, none of the rules will mean a fucking thing to any of them, but let's keep reading and listen to what they said, at least when they weren't completely uh, insane with, I don't know, grief that they fucking failed. So anyways, I'm going to read. Conclusion. We nuclear people have made a Faustian bargain with society. Really? Really? A Faustian bargain? Okay. Okay. On one hand, we offer the inbreeder reactor, an almost inexhaustible source of energy. Even in the short range, we use ordinary reactors. We offer energy that is cheaper than energy from fossil fuel. Moreover, this source of energy, when properly handled, is almost non-polluting. That is such bullshit lies. Whereas fossil fuel burners must emit oxides of carbon and nitrogen and probably will always emit some sulfur dioxide. There is no intrinsic reason why nuclear systems must emit any pollutant except heat and traces of radioactivity. Oops! Except radioactivity, the shit that kills everything. But the price that we demand of society for this magic energy source is both a vigilance and the longevity of our social institutions to which we are quite unaccustomed. In a way, all of this was anticipated during the old debates over nuclear weapons. As matters have turned out, nuclear weapons have stabilized at least the relations between the superpowers. The prospect of an all-out Third World War seems to recede. Except they're conducting the Third World War right now. It's the corporations versus the fucking people. In exchange for this atomic peace, we have to manage and control nuclear weapons. In a sense, we have established a military priesthood which guards against inadvertent use of nuclear weapons. Listen to that. Listen to that. In a sense, we have established a military priesthood which guards against inadvertent use of nuclear weapons, which maintains what seems to be a precarious balance between readiness to go to war and vigilance against human errors that would precipitate war. What about losing nuclear radioactivity? That's been happening. Moreover, this is not something that will go away, at least not soon. The discovery of the bomb has imposed an additional demand on our social institutions. It has called forth this military priesthood upon which, in a way, we all depend for our survival. Oh my God, that must make them feel strong. It seems to be, and in this I repeat some very, some very, exp, exp, I, I'm going to repeat that again. It seems to me, and in this I repeat some views expressed very well by former former Atomic Energy Commissioner Wilfred E. Johnson that peaceful nuclear energy probably will make demands that doesn't make sense probably will make demands of the same sort of our society 
and possibly of even longer duration. No shit, Sherlock. To be sure, we shall steadily improve the technology of nuclear energy. Really? When? But short of developing a truly successful thermonuclear reactor, we shall never be totally free of concern over reactor safety, transport of radioactive materials, and waste disposal. And even if thermonuclear energy provides to be, proves to be successful, we shall still have to handle considerable radioactivity. We make two demands. The first, which I think is the easier to manage, is that we exercise in nuclear technology the very best techniques and that we use people of high expertise and purpose. Like any schmuck who will come to work no matter what he does, runs over radioactive gear, he keeps his job. Quality assurance is the phrase that permeates much of the nuclear community these days. Well, not anymore. It connotes using the highest standards of engineering design and execution, of maintaining proper discipline in the operation of nuclear plants in the face of the natural tendency to relax as a plant becomes older and more familiar. Wow, what did they say today? 75% of all uh, nuclear power plants in the United States are now leaking. They're admitting that. And perhaps of managing and operating our nuclear power plants with people of higher qualification than were necessary for managing and operating non-nuclear power plants. In short, of creating a continuing tradition of meticulous attention to detail. The second demand is less clear and I hope it may prove to be unnecessary. This is the demand for longevity, longevity. I'm sorry my reading is not very well, you guys. This is the demand for longevity, longevity, I can't say that word, longevity, longevity, that's it. This is the demand for longevity in human institutions. We have relatively little problem dealing with radioactive waste if we can assume always that there will be intelligent people around to cope with eventualities we have not considered, like a 9.0 right on a nuclear power plant, you stupid fucks. If the nuclear parks that I mentioned are permanent features of our civilization, then we presumably have the social apparatus and possibly the sites for dealing with our waste indefinitely. What? But even our salt mines may require some measure of surveillance, if only to prevent men in the future from drilling holes into the burial grounds. Fracking! Hello! Eugene Wigner has drawn an analogy between this commitment to a permanent social order that may be implied in nuclear energy and our commitment to a stable year in and year out social order when man moved from hunting and gathering to agriculture. Before agriculture, social institutions hardly required the long-lived stability that we now take so much for granted. And the commitment imposed by agriculture, in a sense, was forever. The land had to be tilled and irrigated every year, and expertise required to accomplish this task could not be allowed to perish, or man would perish. His numbers could not be sustained by hunting and gathering. In the same sense, though on a much more highly sophisticated plane, the knowledge and care that goes into the proper building and handling and operation of a nuclear power plant and their subsystems is something that we are committed to forever, so long as we find no other practical energy source of infinite extent. These fucking rats. Let me close on a somewhat different note. The issues I have discussed here, reactor safety, waste disposal, transport of radioactive materials are complex about which little can be said with absolute certainty. Really, so you guys think it's worth the risk. When we estimate that the probability of a serious reactor incident 
is one chance in a million per reactor per year, or that the failure of all safety rods simultaneously is incredible. We are speaking of matters that simply do not admit of the same order of scientific certainty as when we say it is incredible to build a perpetual motion machine. What the fuck? Where did they come up with that one million per reactor per year? One chance in a million. We had Fukushima sitting right on top of a nuclear power plant. These guys are insane. Society must then make the choice, and this is a choice that we nuclear people cannot dictate. Oh, yes, you have, you rats. We can only participate in making it. Is mankind prepared to exert the external vigilance needed to ensure proper and safe operation of its nuclear energy system? We got that answer, and it's absolutely not. This admittedly is a significant commitment that we ask of society. What we offer in return, an all but infinite source of relatively cheap and clean energy, seems to be well worth the price. Wow, these guys are insane. Wow. Well, I'm going to end here. I hope I'll uh, hear some of you tomorrow uh, call in. I'd really love to chat with you about the idea of growing our show, The, um, the Age of Fission. It's on, on eight, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. It's called The Age of Fission, and we look at uh, all things nuclear, and we talk about the crimes. But I also discuss the social engineering because that's a huge factor. Like, why people don't care. They know. People are not stupid. They do understand, although some don't know. So we have this se sec sector of people who know but don't do anything, and we have another sector who don't know and haven't got a clue. So, anyways, I'm going to end here. Ciao, you guys. Uh, I apologize for taking so long, but that's the end of that reading. I think I'm going to keep finding these old nuclear uh, scientific reports and reading them. Because I have access to them at the library, so we might as well read them. I know I'm not the best reader, but it's better than a poke in the eye, because normal people can't get them because you're not students. So anyways, ciao, you guys. Put your courage feet on, and uh, let's definitely be brave. And you know what? Let's stick up for each other. Like, let's stick up for all of humanity. We do not have the time to be petty right now. So it's really imperative that we focus our energy on ending the nuclear cartel and forcing the energy cartel to be honest and good stewards of the earth because right now they're doing nothing but destroy it. So, try you guys.